All right, Dark Eyes by Dylan. Certainly various amounts of information on how to really play this song, different tunings, capo, no capo, all that good stuff. Not going to argue what's really going on here. I'm going to stick in standard tuning with no capo. Only three chords make it a very easy lesson for you guys to play along with him. I think you're going to have a lot of fun when you're playing along with him. So G. Highly recommend with the ring finger and the pinky finger down there on the first and second string. C. And D. If you're playing a harmonica, it's in the key of G. I'm not going to demonstrate other than the same what key it's in. We have a tab made out for you guys. You can certainly follow along with the tab very accurately if you want to. I'm going to make it even more simple while still following along with this. I'm just mainly looking at the chords and the treble strings. So as we talked about that G, as you can see already in that first bar there, you're going to have that G and then 3-3 three, three on the first and second string and then 2-3 back to 3-3. Three, three. So. So the tab there, the first four bars are going to be the intro and every harmonica interlude. Then, as you can see, the lyrics are going to be on the the first verse, at least, are going to be the lyrics on top of the chords, so you can kind of follow along with it. And this could be a revolving door. Going to have the verse back to that four-bar interlude and then another verse all over again. So we talked about that intro. Uh, let's play it just one time again here. So, like I said, I'm a strummer. I'm not really paying attention too, too much to the actual tab tab, but I am in a way. You'll see as we get there, but so the intro. If you play along with him and you can already hear it probably uh, what's going on there. It's gonna sound it's gonna sound okay. I promise you that. This is a very simple way of playing it. I'm not saying this is how he played it, but this is a very simple way of to play along with him. So like I said, the verse one, the lyrics could be on top. We'll stop at uh, bar 13, because it could be a little bit different. We'll talk about that before we actually play it. But, oh, the gentle. So that is right before this part right here where he says, I live in a... And you can hear him go higher on the guitar. That's going to be over here. It's going to be a D shape of a G chord. As you see on the tab there. But this took me a little apart for a little bit here because it begins on like a D, 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 D shape there with the two and the three. Then three, three, then up, then back to three, three. So just keep that in mind after you have, and it's time for me to slide. Because you end right here, at least I am. I'm ending right here, but then you have to remember to go there very quickly. like two lines of just a little bit different then back to the normal where the all right so that's gonna be the whole song pretty much after like i said each verse goes all the way back up to the top for that four bars and then every verse after that will be the exact same so hopefully this helped out i know the end the ending is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be an empty verse, but he kind of hesitates for a second. It's kind of just hanging on a G. It's like thinking, oh, what should I do with the harmonica? So let's hang on a G until you actually hear, you can actually hear, use your ear. It's going to go through another verse. And then that's going to be the end of the song almost. You can hear him kind of fooling around at the very, very, very end. You can kind of almost hear like the open strings. You're kind of thinking to yourself, Maybe it is tuned a little bit differently. It probably is, but for us, like I said, standard tuning, no capo. Hopefully it helped out. I think it's a fun one, easy way to get around uh, what he's probably doing. So uh, hopefully that helped out.